Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. Head for the top. Heart is under some steep security. Heck, Rajad is carrying half of it at all times. Forget it, the goods. I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajad's office while I lift the spice operation blueprints off the Spice Lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, he'll be collecting data on us with an elephant driven satellite array. Take it out, or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications!
fly. The insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet.
As I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place.
Blueprints! They have been stolen! That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. Rajan is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. That's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto! The satellite's in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy.
Sayonara, satellite array. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape. Effectively, bringing it to us. The monkeys are restless this night. They serve their master well. <laughs> 